what you need to know. And it's coming from a cybersecurity firm called Trustwave. We know that there was a virus that has compromised passwords and usernames from 93,000 websites, ones we use every day. We're talking Facebook, Gmail, Yahoo, LinkedIn, a bunch of others. These are things that we go to constantly. But before you go and you change all of your passwords, there is something that you should know. Just changing them is not going to be enough. CNN Money reporter Jose Palieri is here to walk us through what we can do right now about this. Jose, great to see you. I know you are Thank talking you. about this story on CNN Money, and I want all of you at home, if you have your laptop handy, grab it, put it on your lap. You can do this with us because this is some really important information. And first thing everyone needs to do is scan their personal computers for a virus. Is that right? Walk me through this because I know we're That's doing this right. in our control room right now. So most of our laptops do have malware software, right? So like antivirus software that, that can scan for malware, I mean. And so what you want to do is launch that and go ahead and perform a scan. Okay, Jira is doing that right now computer. in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. There is that little malware thing that you're talking about. She clicked right. on that and she says scan for threats. Is that what you should do? That's right. Go ahead and scan for threats and let that go for a while. Do a full scan. It might take full a few scan. minutes. It might take a few hours. Let the scan go. And what it's going to do is it's going to see if it can track down viruses that these companies, these uh, antivirus companies, have identified. Now, let that run. But it's more complicated than that because changing the passwords to Facebook and LinkedIn is not something that you want to do on that same computer. Right. You make that great point because that may be a computer that has the virus and you need to go to a different computer, right? Because that's, that's right. Okay. Tell us about that. That's right. So let's go ahead and break down what exactly happened here. Um, there was a server somewhere in the, ne in the Netherlands that was spreading out uh, these viruses and collecting information back from people. So the virus would be on your computer, not on Facebook, not on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to go to another computer. That's the trick. Go to another computer and change all of your passwords. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've been notified by these companies. Change your passwords to Facebook, your bank account, Gmail, Yahoo, whatever it is that you use. But do it on another computer because the fact is if your computer has been hacked if it has one of these viruses then it's going to record the keys that you have and it's going to know what you change it to real quick if we don't have the virus on our computer should we still change our passwords still do it you got to right. you got to be safe you you got to be safe the thing is not everyone who was infected was identified jose thanks so much for being